What's the difference between a low pressure compressor and a high pressure compressor? What's the difference between a single spool or a dual or triple spool jet engine? We'll find out today because class is in session. You're watching Plain Simple. Hello everybody, welcome back to Plain Simple. Um, this video, oh, I, I'm going to dedicate this video to answering one question that came up in the comments a while back. Um, and although I answered it in the comments, the, the answer was a little lengthy. Um, so I wanted to do a video so that I can give a, a more complete answer. And, and plus it's easier talking than, than it is typing. So the, the question was by Harry Estevez and Harry's question was he, uh, he wanted me to explain the difference between low pressure compressors and high pressure compressors and that's what I'm, I'll be explaining on, on this video now to start from the beginning um, a little bit of theory so uh, a, a jet engine with an axial compressor which is what we have here in this image um, you have all stages of the compressor connected via a shaft to the turbines in the back of the engine. This turbine is what robs some of the power from the jet stream rushing by, being spit out the back of the engine. These turbines are spun just like windmills, are spun by the flow of exhaust going through them and they in turn via that shaft turn the compressor what we're looking at now here is a single spool as you can see here is a single spool um, jet engine single spool compressor that means that you have one rotating mass which is the combination the, the, the whole arrangement of compressor turbines and the connecting shaft all rotating as one unit that is one spool that whole whole assembly is called one spool that's a single spool that is one single rotating assembly made up of many many different parts built up to make one assembly this is one spool in this case you don't have a low compressor a low pressure and a high pressure compressor because you don't have two compressors you have one single compressor with many stages remember that one stator vein plus one or, or, or one one disc one arrangement of uh, stators plus one stage of rotors from the compressor one stator plus one rotor equals one stage another stator plus another rotor equals another stage so this would be stage one the combination of these two one stator one rotor this would be stage two combination of these two stage three stage four etc etc so you have many stages in one compressor obviously there's lower pressure here in the beginning there's higher pressure here but this is not referred to as a low compressor a low pressure low pressure and high pressure compressors this is still one single compressor one single spool everything everybody rotating all together as one assembly on the other hand in a two spool in this figure here we have a case of a two spool uh, jet engine or two or dual spool like you see here dual spool jet engine in here we have this black assembly here is one rotating assembly this lighter gray one is a separate individual second rotating assembly this compressor is connected to these turbines 
And those two are connected via this center shaft. This gray assembly is one assembly that spins individual separately, independently from this assembly. This black assembly with one turbine here and compressor, several compressor stages are connected via this here, which is a hollow tube. It is still a shaft connecting the turbine to the compressor. But in that case, that shaft is hollow. Hollow because you have inside of it, you have the shaft connecting this spool. So you have this spool, let's call it the gray spool, and you have the black spool. They're both concentric. One runs inside of the other. But they're not mechanically connected. They run independently of each other. That allows the black spool to spin at a different speed than the gray spool. Now, this compressor is compressing, is running at a lower air pressure than this compressor. So now you see that in this case, in this engine, we have two compressors. We also have two sets of turbines, two different spools of turbines two different assemblies. This turbine is independent independent from these two, spinning at different speeds because they're driving different uh, parts of the engine. In this case, this would be the low pressure compressor and this here would be the high pressure compressor. This one normally spins at a faster speed than this one does. This high pressure compressor it takes more energy to, to, to spin up. Therefore, the turbine that powers it is the first one that encounters this airflow. This is where this airflow here, just exiting the combustors, this is where you have the most energy available. This is the first turbine to tap into that energy to power that compressor. Beyond that, you have a second group of turbines, which through this inside shaft over here, drive the low pressure compressor. So now you see the difference between a single spool, solid shaft, one single compressor, still with many stages, just like you have here, but the stages are not different compressors. This is still one single compressor on a single spool. And this is a two spool compressor. Lo this would be your low pressure compressor. And this is your high pressure compressor. Now th in this case there's, only, there's two spools. But you can have more. Let's look at another example of one that has three. Notice that on the previous examples, neither one of these two engines are bypass engines. These are pure jet engines, meaning that all of the air that goes through the inlet goes through the combustors and through the turbines and out the jet nozzle. All of the air that, that work goes through the engine goes through the core of the engine. In the next example that we're going to look at here, this is a triple spool engine. And what we have here, again, let's use the same color scheme. We have the black spool with the compressor stages and the first turbine stage. These would be the combustors here. So this is compressor. This is the compressor side. This is the hot section. This is all the turbines are back here. These are all different stages of turbines. So we have the black spool, we have this hashed line spool, that would be spool number two, and this gray here, in this case, is spool number three. Now the core of the engine, what we call the engine core normally, is this black spool here. This is your high pressure compressor. 
and your high pressure turbine. LP compressor, LP for low pressure, this is the LP compressor, and uh, see, <laughs> I already got the terms mixed up. High pressure compressor, HP, high pressure, and HP turbine. This would be your low pressure compressor and low pressure turbine. And lower pressure still to drive the fan. Now this is a bypass engine. This is not a pure jet engine, this is a high bypass engine. Because all of this air that goes through this duct here and here, all that air is bypassing the engine core. None of that engine is going through and getting heated up or doing any cooling. It is strictly getting energy imparted onto it from the fan. The fan grabs ambient air, incoming intake air, and speeds it out the back via the fan. So in this case, we have a triple spool. This is triple spool compressors because we have the fan would be stage one it would be spool number one which indeed it and the fan does shove the air into the compressor so this would be compressor spool number one this would be compressor spool number two and this would be compressor spool number three so now we have three spools a three spool compressor each one spinning inside of the other so the fan and low, lowest pressure turbines we have a solid shaft running through the and inside the second spool and this one which is a hollow shaft with this one running inside of it this one in turns both of these run inside of spool number three which is also hollow much bigger diameter from here to here much bigger diameter because inside of it you have two other concentric shafts running through it but notice that none of them are connected mechanically all three are free to spin at different speeds and as a matter of fact if you read here it says the triple spool compressors on many turbofan engines enable each compressor section to reach its optimum speed for varying power requirements and flight conditions this makes for a much snappier, peppy, more responsive engine for, for throttle changes, throttle uh, inputs. Because if you give it more gas, if you start from, idle, from, from a high idle and you give it full throttle, or any changes of throttle that you do, each individual section is free to spool up because it's not tied down to anybody else. This one can wind itself up, you give it more gas, you get more heat, and this one is the first one to see that extra heat, and this one winds up immediately. And, and this one can spool up quickly because it's not connected mechanically to this guy. However, since this one spools up, now you get more exhaust speed. Now this one will spool up a uh, second, and eventually this one will spool up too but each one will react on their own accord independently from each other. So each one can be um, ideally, they, they can be refined and designed to more specific shapes because each one is operating under different conditions, different temperature ranges, different speeds, different pressures. So you can fine tune each one of your, state, of your spools to do their function. This one is spinning a big, 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 massive fan so it doesn't have to spin as fast. You can slow this one way down. This one needs to compress the air a bit more so you want to you spool this one up and drive it a little faster. This one is getting that air and compressing it to the highest pressure that this air, air is ever going to see. So you spool this one way up, and you can because you have three different assemblies, three different rotating assemblies. So that is what is meant by low pressure and high pressure 
compressors. Again, this I know this answer was, it actually took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And I know that it gets a little repetitive, but I'd rather take the time and, and try my best to explain these principles and these concepts as, as clearly as I can to try and make it easy to understand. Uh, again, you, you can... Um, knowledge is not understanding. You can read these descriptions in a book or hear someone tell you about them and you can repeat them but if you don't if you don't understand it you can repeat it um, all you want to I'm trying to make it understandable I'm trying to make it simple to understand what is meant by these diagrams and by the terms uh, low pressure and high pressure compressor so hopefully I've done my part hopefully you can understand it now um, and by you I mean everybody, everybody watching this video um, but more particularly uh, to you Harry, I hope you watched the video and uh, eh, I hope I answered your question and if not, let me know and I'll try again <laughs> alright, see you guys thank you for sticking along, stay safe and uh, I'll see you next time